Welcome to Episode 5 of the Literature Review. Everything you need to know to write a successful literature review. In Episode 5, we're going to take a look at how you might know that a particular published study is actually an empirical study. Empirical studies rely on observation and verifiable evidence, whereas theoretical articles uh, are drawn from those sorts of things. So you're going to be looking, for the most part, for studies that have these sorts of features. Here's an example from the Journal of International Migration that I wrote with colleagues, Dr. Karkuti and Dr. Toprik. Uh, the abstract is the first thing you're going to see, and you'll also find that in the, in the library. It's a concise summary of what the article is going to be about, and it often mentions the methods and an overview of the uh, conclusions of the results or findings. So if we scroll along, We'll see there's an introduction. Sometimes these titles are going to be a little bit different. Oh, come back here. Okay, so here we have uh, the impact of social support on students' academic achievement. But look at the subhead here, a review of the related literature. This is just another way to say literature review. And almost any empirical study will have a review of the related literature because it situates the current study in the grand conversation of scholars in the field. So there's the uh, literature review. You'll see also that there is often a section of scrolling along a conceptual framework or a theoretical framework that guides the, the study. You will see a section on research questions. This can be found in a number of different places, but there are almost always a set of research questions to be answered. And most important, there are uh, method sections. In the method section, you will see a description of who the participants were, what the setting was, uh, what procedures were used, what tools were used if a particular tool was in fact used. Uh, then you will see a section for how the data were analyzed. You will see a section uh, for findings, findings for qualitative studies, results for quantitative studies. And then of course you will see a discussion section. There's our discussion section. And uh, finally, references. There are often limitations as well. The reference says here, not in APA style, this is something that this particular journal does. Um, moving on, let's take a look at the a particular journal. This is Reading Research Quarterly. How do you know if something is peer-reviewed? It may be scholarly, but not peer-reviewed. For example, educational leadership is very popular among educators, but it's not peer-reviewed, it's editor-reviewed. So the first thing you'll see here <clears throat> on the uh, home page is that there, is a, there are a pair of editors in this particular case. Sometimes it's one, sometimes it's three. There is a consulting board, and these come up with all sorts of different names, consulting board, editorial board, um, reviewers, editorial reviewers for uh, volume 55 and so on. If there are no reviewers, no editorial board, then your, st then your journal is probably not peer-reviewed and you probably should avoid it for purposes of writing a literature review.